How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Super Mega Baseball. This is episode number 96. We're getting close guys. Episode 100 is coming soon. But today we have the sixth game of this season. We are two and, or now we're uh, three and two. My bad. But we won our first two games only when Andy McKenzie pitched. Then we finally figured out how to win without Andy. Now today, can we go for three in a row? This is Logan Cannon. His first start didn't go that well for us. I believe that was a 4-0 loss. So we didn't have any offense to back him up, and that is off the glove of Rose. And a two-out base knock here for the Overdogs. So I'm really excited to get going with our offense today, and we'll get right to it now as Starks reels that one in. So we have five players this year in the top 10 for uh, extra base hits. And the top of our order is doing a really nice job to start this year, including the resurgence of Flash Jackson. Can't hit those two pitches. And Chasey Kim starts us off and Flash is as shocked as I am, a strikeout. Those weren't even that tough of pitches. So here is 261 hitting Leon Daniels. Okay, why can't I hit these pitches right now? We have Chasey Kim here, good velocity. Other ratings are, you know, below average or below 50. And he gets ahead in the count again, so 0-2. And Leon puts a jolt into this one. Deep center and caught. So that far part in center is only 394. That's got to be uh, a chance for us to hit off the wall or go yard to center. Keep an eye on that. Oh, good swing, Lance. One and one. All right, come on. We had one early, one late, and now one outside. Barely got a piece of that one here. Some good pitching from Kim. And strike three on the inside. That is what I'm, I was really shocked that wasn't called the ball. Anyway, it's time to hit, and this is fielded by Rose. One down. Really good ratings here for Rafael Gonzolo. The power and the speed as he one hops this one to Manning. And the speed is enough. An infield hit. Now these overdog uniforms, their road unis are really nice. I feel like we haven't had a chance to see this often or I just don't pay that much attention. Or it's the lighting that's making me realize this. I don't know what it is. Yvette Victorino. More speed here for the Overdogs, and this is a routine play. Good job. Alrighty, we have Ross, Manning, and Corey Boyd after a two strikeout first inning. That was not good. So here is the power hitting, and Drew Ross! Deep left center, that'll be extra bases. Good attempt on the dive. You should definitely get uh, some points for that one. We want runs in baseball, not points. So, sorry. Tough luck. Man on second here for Maurice Manning, who's hit extra base hits continuously in this series. Come on, Manning. And there we go. See you later. Left center and gone. Maurice Manning does it again. I'm not sure what it is, guys, but he is just a champion of extra base hits. And when I finally make that, that list of stats over all these seasons, I hope that I can go through like seasons one and two when I wasn't even thinking about this. And hopefully I can grab the stats for that one too. I want to see some numbers for Manning. How many extra base hits does he have? Weekly hit to center. Not the best of contact. All right, so I did mix up the order in one spot. I forgot to mention that. I moved Corey Boyd up and Darren Rose down. Just as Rose is not hitting that well, I don't want him hitting behind Maurice Manning. So a two-ball count. And a line-out, despite pretty good contact. And here is Jonathan Starks. Just give him one to crack here, please. Thank you. To left field, a base hit. 
So Starks is aboard. And here is Logan Cannon. Here is Mr. Cannon. Uh oh, no, go back. I'm not having the last out be on a steal and then Cannon leads off. I'm not having any of that. Oh my. Well hit by Cannon. Deep left field and caught. I remember when Logan Cannon hit a home run. That was fun. That was a good time. And right now he is dealing. Cash him in. Uh-oh, that's got a chance to go. This is a short fence in center, and it's robbed! Flash Jackson scales the fence, and we keep our lead to 2-0. There's the defense, guys. Can we get the play here? Nope. That was pretty awesome, though. I've had many chances at those robs, and I just haven't connected on very many of them. And that's fair ball. Thank you. Well done. And here he is, Flash Jackson. Too high here for Chasey Kim, whose mojo is not doing well. And that was just a little too high, I think, to the track and caught. Here is Leon Daniels. Oh, whoa, that one skipped in front of the plate. That one did too. Not that one, but now Kim is losing his uh, command a bit. There we go, a base hit by Leon Daniels. There isn't a lot of movement on many of these pitches, so adjusting to them hasn't been that difficult after my first inning, which is always an adjustment for me. Like I said, I should just lead off with like my pitcher. Starks and Rose because my first inning is always like a warm-up. Three and one to Lance Adams. Oh no, three two. Barely got a piece of that one. Come on, Lance. Good at bat. It's hit to center on a line and caught. So back to first goes Leon Daniels, and here is Andrew Ross. I'm hitting so many fouls today. Come on, Ross. Oh my! To the deepest part of the park! And gone! Two run Jack for Andrew Ross. To that like 30 foot fence in center. It's a short, it's a short uh, distance. So I knew we'd have a chance, and Ross delivers from one man who hit a two-run home run to another, Maurice Manning. Oh my! Don't tell me it's back-to-back! -back. Yes, it is! Third homer of the day for the B-Wolves. 430 feet. I feel like it's only the beginning, guys. We have to hit at least five homers this episode. I'm calling five. One, perhaps, to Corey Boyd. Two and one. That was a good location. And strike three to end the inning. But a couple more homers. We lead this game five zip. Anton Goodwood to the right side. And out number one. Marsha Brown getting that to the right side. And that is caught. Second out. Rafael Gonzolo. Oh, kind of an awkward swing there. What are you going to do with a swing like that? Oh, another miss. We have his number. And that's gone. What? You tell me those two terrible swings. Just lead him to that 450 feet, no doubter. Well then, that was rather unexpected. Here is Robin Yu in the air, just out of the infield, or he'll stay in the dirt. Got it. Alrighty, we need two more homers today, guys. I want five. Here is Darren Rose. 
to lay off these pitches. Look at Kim's ratings. And Rose with a base hit. He and Starks both with a hit today. And here is Starks. Oh, I didn't mean to swing at that. Nearly a fair ball. I'm glad it wasn't. Oh, no. What happened here? It's popped up into center field. And out number one. Alright, so Logan Cannon is up, and they're bringing in David Diggler already. And we've seen Diggler, like, every time we play the Overdogs. So Kim only lasts three and a third innings, which is one of the, like, what am I looking for? What's the word? It's one of the shortest outings I've seen from a starting pitcher in this series. What am I doing on that? Now, we've seen Diggler a ton in this series. We know he pitches fast. But we also know that he runs out of gas very quickly. So if we can just string out his outing here a little bit, then maybe we can get some good hits off of him. But obviously couldn't do much with those two at-bats. And here we go to the top of the fifth. Logan Cannon to Yvette Victorino. He gets ahead in the count. And here's the fork. Popped up for Maurice Manning. A little 360 there, and he makes the catch. Now it is David Diggler, and there are the ratings. Very good hitter. And Diggler falls behind. Both pitchers did a pretty good job of getting ahead in the count. Sliding catch in right by Corey Boyd. Nice job. Here is cash him in. Another two strike count. And another strikeout for Logan Cannon. We go to Lance Adams every or uh, Leon Daniels. My bad. Don't worry, buddy, it's just Leon, it's not Lance. Foul by Leon, he falls behind. And Diggler is just off the inside corner. Jam down the line. Get to the wall, please. Thank you. Barely. And strike three for Diggler. To Lance Adams we go. He has no hits today, and that just changed. Now one for three. Man, when Lance hits the baseball, that baseball, like, needs to leave the game. You can only let Lance Adams hit a baseball once, and then it's warped. That baseball is now no good. Now with Ross, you just get no choice. It's always a home run. I cannot believe I swung at that, hit it, and got a hit. That's Andrew Ross for you guys. The man can golf. And speaking of golf, here is Maurice Manning who's hit two home runs. What do those things have to do with one another? Absolutely nothing. But here is an o a 1-0 count. And we might have his third. Back deep to center. It's off the wall and it's at least going to be a triple. Maurice Manning to third base. And he brings in two more. And now it's Corey Boyd. And this is one of the changes I made. I wanted to move Corey Boyd up because he's going to be a better guy to drive in Manning when he's on base. So will that happen right now? 0-1. And the count gets evened up and look at Diggler's ratings. Already starting to tank a bit and that's a line out. But the contact is what you want. And here is Darren Rose. Maybe he can still drive in Maurice Manning. That was, that was a chopper. He hit the ground and popped up. No it wasn't. All right, Elroy action. I only have a couple more chances to get those two more home runs I was counting on here. That was my call. Five homers. And Cannon, uh, his stamina, you know, it's doing fine right now. So I wouldn't be too concerned until he starts allowing too many hits. There's one. Anton Goodwood. Let's go with that change up low, up the middle, and past Stark. So they have consecutive hits for, I think, the first time all game. This is the biggest jam we've seen Logan get into. 
Leon can't find the baseball. That was quite comical. Oh, no. Another hit, and this one could clear the bases and bring in a couple runs. Flash quickly gets it into the infield, but that is a two-run triple, and the game is now 7-3. to three. So all of a sudden, Logan Cannon having some struggles here in the sixth. That was a confident swing there. And strike three, a key out there for Logan Cannon as he tries to wrap up the sixth. Chase it. Nope. Chase this. Oh my goodness. Robin Yu deep left and all of a sudden we have a game. 7-5. to five. Out of nowhere, the overdogs just put four on the board this inning. Just wrap up this inning here, Logan. I'm not sure what exactly went wrong. Here's a pitch low. Can he just get the strikeout to end it? Yes, he can. But I think that's going to be it for Cannon today. Here is Jonathan Starks. He's one for two. And lines out to short. Who is the best pinch hitter for this situation? How about Maurice Pratt? I just like getting his speed on. Getting him a chance. That's all he needs. My contact swings have been the most effective with Maurice Pratt. I'm not sure why. Why it works for him. Why not for Starks? Oh, come on, Flash. We're taking off. Nope, we're going to bluff it. Come on, Flash. Oh, no, he popped it up. Get back. That is the second out here, bottom six. And here is Leon Daniels. Oh, it hit him. Leon just watched it run in and hit his shoulder, and he just, he just takes it like a champ right there. That's what Leon does. Oh, no, what a play at first. So, Newton's not playing well. We can't pitch him in this spot. We have to go to Eric Hancock to pitch to David Diggler, who hit a single in his first trip. And I think he just popped out. It's going to be a tough play. Oh, man, out of reach. Popped up this time. Shallow center. A run by Flash. He's... Oh, he overran it. No, I misjudged that. Oh, no. Should have been the first out instead. We have a deep drive to center to the wall. And it's off the wall. I thought he'd catch that. I misjudged two in a row. And safe at third. The overdogs now are close to erasing this deficit. Oh, my. What have I done? Come on. Get it, Starks! Samuel Perez will pinch hit. And he has plenty of power. Can Hancock get us out of this jam here? This is hit deep, and that should be an easy tag opportunity. Flash ranging and caught. All of a sudden, six unanswered runs. The overdogs have tied the game. I'm not sure what the biggest run we've given up is. But this is up there for sure. And Anton Goodwood, deep to right, has given the Overdogs a lead. Wow. The pitching completely fell off after five solid innings. It's now 8-7. to seven. We are trailing. I thought we'd run away with this game. We were running away with it. And now we have to play some catch up. We have the guys at bat to do it. Here is Andrew Ross, who is three for three. And he grounds out to first. Maurice Manning, two homers and a triple today. He'll face Rocket Ramon. Oh no, he's got a weird delivery. One and one. 
Way too high. That's got a chance. Deep right center. Back to the track and off the wall. Perfect carom to the right fielder, but it's another triple for Maurice Manning. He's got to be first place in extra base hits now. So here we go to that situation again. Corey Boyd trying to drive in Manning. This is why I put him up in the order. And we'll see if it delivers this time. And it does! A base hit to left. Corey Boyd ties the game. Here's Darren Rose. I'm sure there was somebody in the comment section calling for that move for like 20 episodes. A pop-up here by Rose. And now in the seventh inning, there are two down. Jonathan Starks. And a weak grounder to second. They get the lead, and that is it. So, 8-8 eight to eight here in the eighth. Surprisingly, one of the most exciting games all season. Oh, big swing there by Gonzolo. And a foul to the right side. We're looking for that strikeout now. The curve just off the corner. Trying to be careful. Oh, man. Did you see his ratings? Look at the power. And hard hit up the middle. Stopped by Rose. Or Starks. My bad. Out number one. Great play by Johnny Starks. Here's Robin Yu. The inside slider gets the inside out. Ground ball. Out number two. Guy Gold. Guy Gold. How's it going, Guy Gold? Sounds like one of those guys who's always like talking about how good of a deal he's going to get by buying your jewelry. Do we trust Guy Gold? I don't think so. Guy Gold. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, come on. I think he put some gold in that ump's pocket to not call that one. Come on, Hancock. Get us out of this mess. Up the middle. There is Rose. Gold to first. He is safe. Rocket Ramon trying to extend the inning with two down. Guy Gold. There we go. And Ramon to first. I want to get Guy Gold out. We're ending this inning. Okay, bottom eight. Here's Eric Hancock, and there he goes. We're bringing in... I'm going to bring in Dominic Carter. Oh, man. I was just about to talk about how he's a lefty, and if he can just pull it, it can go a good distance, but he was too far underneath that one. Here's Flash Jackson, still a 357 average, despite an 0 for today. And Ramon's all over the place. That's inside. Two and one. And that is in the gap. Just over short, and here we go, Flash Jackson. He is staying at second with a one-out double. We need Leon to come through in this spot here. Only a 269 average. Not bad. Just not great. But he takes a couple bad pitches. Oh, one strike. Now two, evened up, just outside. Good take, Leon. Now the count's full. Popped up. Those inside pitches, man. Two outs. We're trying to capitalize off this double, and now it's up to Lance Adams. Oh, my goodness. He popped it up. And we're going to the ninth inning. Tied at eight. And in comes Andy Beckwith. Trying to keep this game tied, and that is a good starting point. Good job, Leon. Elroy action. That's got a chance for a hit, but Lance makes the catch. Samuel Perez. That's hard hit, but right at Rose. Oh, it's past his glove. 
Good contact by Perez, and now it's Anton Goodwood. Need to pitch carefully here as Goodwood rips that down the line for a souvenir. And back to Beckwith. We're going bottom nine, trying to walk this off. They have to deal with Andrew Ross and Maurice Manning. Seven for eight combined with three home runs today. So here we go. The stage is set for a miraculous victory. Can we come through? Five homers on the year for Ross. And he pops it up. What is with these lefties now popping up everything? It's Maurice Manning. Two homers, two triples, five RBIs. Now one down, bottom nine, and he is retired on the ground out. So that means Corey Boyd or facing extras. Here we go. And Corey Boyd laces a hit to left, and we have one aboard. And it's, oh, get going. They just messed up big time. The winning run is now at second. And we're going to have a perfect chance here to put in Maurice Hudson. A chance to win the game. A base hit should do it. Boyd has gotten much faster over the years. So here is Corey Boyd. Or here is Maurice Hudson. Strike one. And base hit to left. Here goes Boyd. He will have to hold up. Oh man, that was close. And so, we've arrived to Jonathan Starks. No RBIs this year, only a 174 average, and a base hit will win the game. Here we go. Bottom of the ninth inning, it's 8-8, eight to eight. ball one to Starks. Ball two, he's gotten ahead. And please reach the seats, please reach the seats, that was a bad swing, and it does get to the first row. That was ball three I just swung at. Now two and one. And two and two. Ramon can't find the zone, but it doesn't matter. Come on, Starks. And it's a weak tapper to short. Out at second, we're going to extras. So close. Here is Andy Beckwith. Grounding to third for out number one. We haven't had extras here in a while. This has been a fun game and a fun season in this awesome series. One and one and a sharp grounder. Hudson here not playing much defense recovers in time. Now it's Robin Yu here. Two outs in the 10th and he puts this into left center and that is going to be extras. Trying to hold him to two, but he's got a chance to go three. He's taking that chance, and he's safe. The go-ahead run now 90 feet away, and we're back to Guy Gold. Guy Gold. Guy Gold. What do we do here against Guy Gold? Strike one to Guy Gold. Strike two. Beckwith giving his best work. Now, that's going down the line and slicing foul. Guy Gold to third. And Maurice Manning retires Guy Gold. We're going bottom 10, trying to win this thing. And guys, we are pinch hitting Eric Carter, who has never had a big hit in this series. But he has a chance right now against Doug Nerdward. So here it is. Neither player right now has great ratings. It's a high pressure spot. Eric Carter's confident though. The man is confident in his abilities. And he's here to come off the bench and deliver for the B-Wolves in the bottom of the 10th inning. Here we go. No way! I... That kind of build up, and you pop up in foul territory. All right. Flash Jackson calling his shot. He's ready to go to bed. Base hit center. Okay. So uh, the winning run is at first. And that takes us to Leon Daniels. 
perhaps soon to be hole in one Leon Daniels. But we'll see. One and L. Two and O. Oh, Leon jumped on that one. Now two one. And Daniels to the gap. Let's go. Flash can run, and he may have just won the game. Leon Daniels has done it. The game-winning triple. The B-Wolves win 9-8 on a Leon Daniels walk-off. Well, that's one way to end this one, guys. That was one of the most exciting games of this entire series. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 96. Oh, my, that was fun. Leon Daniels, everybody. Did they give him a triple for that one? I'm not sure. I mean, probably just a double. That's likely what he deserves with that one but Leon wins it I can't believe we almost lost that game but it made for one of the most miraculous finishes we've seen that was so much fun I hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like leave your feedback below and hit that subscribe button for much more super mega baseball we're almost to episode 100 and there is still much more on the way we now have three straight wins on the season sitting at four and two that was so exciting. I cannot get over that. We're going to take a look at the stats here and wrap this one up. Let's go league leaders. I got to see. Look at that. Batting average, three in the top five. Home runs, two in the top three. RBIs, we're there too. We have players everywhere destroying. We have the four guys with the most hits this year. It's our one, three, four, five hitters. Extra base hits. Five players are there. Maurice Manning has 10. Double anybody on any other team. Ridiculous. The runs are happening this year. And the pitching is happening this year too. We get back to Andy McKenzie next episode, who has already pitched us two victories. So I cannot wait to see where this season goes. With this trajectory, we are now on. Thank you all for watching. That'll do it for episode 96. This is a hard one to top, but I'll see you guys again shortly. Have a great day.